good evening good evening good evening family so um i actually was getting ready to bed it down for the night and i was in my closet and i know y'all are like is she really doing a video in her closet yes she is um and i was just looking for some stuff in my closet and i was kind of reflecting and i want you know this really came over my heart to talk to you about the spirit of settle are you living your life with the spirit of settle and i think that a lot of us are living that way and maybe we don't realize it or maybe we've been living that way for a long time and so we don't think that we're settling but some of us are living with the spirit of settle and we got to get that right um the problem with settling is that you ultimately are putting yourself in a position to miss out on God's best. And I'm not just speaking in terms of relationships. I'm speaking in terms of jobs. I'm speaking in terms of, op of opportunities. I'm speaking in terms of um, your dreams and your goals and your aspirations, things that you really are wanting to do. But you are settling. You're living with a spirit of settle. And what I mean by that is um, you're settling because you're scared that it won't work out. You're settling because you don't believe that God is going to really do what he said he's going to do. Uh, you are settling in relationships because maybe you don't think that you'll ever get better or maybe you've put in a lot of time and you really don't want to, um, you know, go through the heartbreak of letting go of this mediocre thing and then go through the frustration of waiting on God's best. And I can say that because I lived with the Spirit of Settle for a long time. The Spirit of Settle wrote to work with me every day. The Spirit of Settle woke up next to me every day. The Spirit of Settle was with me at work, was with me at home. And we've got to get over that. You know, how long are you going to let your fear hold you back? How long are you going to stay in a relationship with this person that does not value you, but because you don't value you, you're willing to settle for less. How long are you going to, um, you know, bypass that opportunity that God keeps bringing your way because you're afraid that it won't work out or you're afraid that you won't get the funding for it or you're just afraid. And a lot of times we settle because we're afraid. We settle out of fear. And that is one of the most horrible things in the world to do. Don't ever settle for less because you're afraid. I'm going to tell you something. We serve a God who is abundantly and exceedingly able to do not just what we ask but more and a lot of you being able to um get beyond your spirit of settle is you trusting god i remember um you know there have been so many instances in my life where i was settling and last year i made the decision that i was not settling anymore i didn't care you know how long i had to be alone i didn't care how hard it was going to be i didn't care that it hurt I simply say, God, I'm tired of settling. You know, I'm tired of settling for mediocre relationships. I'm tired of settling for jobs that I don't like. Um, I'm tired of settling for this and that. I'm tired of settling for not knowing my worth. And ultimately, it's about, are you tired of settling? Are you tired of, of saying to yourself, this is all I'm worth, but knowing in your heart that you're worth more, and that's what we do. We are afraid to really believe that we are worth more because what if we believe that we're worth more and other people don't? Then what happens? Or what if we step out on faith and we believe God and it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen? Or what happens if we leave the relationship and we're single for a couple of years and we start thinking, I really should have stayed in that relationship because I didn't want to be single and I'm never going to find somebody. We have to stop living with the spirit of settle over our lives. Um, and that was heavy on my heart because in this season, in this stage of my life, um, it is abundantly overflowing with opportunity and blessing and joy that I've never felt. And all of that came from the fact that I stopped settling. Um, I found my purpose and I wake up every single day um, excited about that and and every day of my life is not easy um and it was really scary it was really scary to stop settling but i had finally hit a, a low point in my life where i was like you know what it's got to be more to it than this ju than than just this it's got to be more than what i'm doing it's got to be more than the type of people i'm dating it's got to be more to me than even what i feel about myself and so my prayer became okay god help me see what you see for my life because if you show me what you see then i can believe it and i can act like that even when it's not happening yet you know god show me the ministry you want me to have and i'll trust you with it 
even if I don't see it right away, you know, when God told me that my purpose was ministry, I was like, you got the wrong one. Because I had been through so much in my life and I had done so much that I just settled for safe. I was, um, you know, the girl that was always, you know, the, the plus size girl in the group and, and nobody really talked to me. So I settled for safe and I wore basketball shorts and t-shirts to, to school every day because I didn't think I was beautiful, but I knew I was comfortable there. So I settled for safe. And I settled for jobs that I didn't like because I really didn't, you know, think that I could do something better. And I settled, I settled and settled and settled. I settled for guys that only wanted to use me because I was afraid that a better guy wouldn't find me attractive. And I'm speaking this stuff to you not because I'm trying to be harsh, but because I want to be open and talk about the ways that I settle. Because real life says that we settle for those things. We settle in relationships. We settle at work. We settle um, for dreams. You know, you want to write a book but you don't think that somebody would ever you know go for it or somebody would publish you or somebody would benefit from your story so you just stick to journaling I'm encouraging you right now stop settling stop settling for that journal that you write in every day that you've been writing in since you were 16 years old and you have a story to tell and you have a testimony but you're settling for safe because you don't think anybody would ever want to hear it there is somebody right now that needs your story and because you're settling for safe and comfortable you're not you're not you know you're not you're not using what God is giving you. I had a testimony and I settled for a lot of years because I was scared. I was like, if people really found out the truth about me, people would disown me, people wouldn't like me. And God said, Don't don't think about that. Stop settling. Do what I'm asking you to do. And now there's this abundant favor over my life because I stepped out of settling and I told the spirit of settle, you got to go. I got to do more with my life than this before I leave here. I was given one life, and while I'm on loan to this earth, I'm going to do everything that I came here to do, everything that I was sent here to do. I'm not going to settle because why would you want to settle for less when the Bible tells you that you've got so much more in heaven? You know, and I when I started reading my word and I found out that I've got all these riches and all this stored up in heaven for me, I was like, why am I settling on earth? Like I'm royalty. Like I'm already royalty in heaven, but I'm living on earth like I am, like I'm like I'm little to nothing. And so I got up and I was like, you know, God, I'm gonna start making some withdrawals on my heavenly, um, you know, on my heavenly treasure. I'm gonna start acting like who you tell me I am. So I'm gonna start acting like the treasure I have in heaven is what I have on earth. I'm gonna start acting like the queen that you tell me I am in heaven, I am on earth. And so I get up every day and I remind myself baby you are a queen and your father is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever imagine so get up today and don't settle don't settle because you're tired and you get to work and you don't want to give it your all don't settle for the person that approaches you that you know is no good don't settle because you're afraid that nobody's going to listen to the message that you want to teach today so you just kind of settle and you don't preach it or you don't teach it when there was somebody that needed to hear it um, and if you're living with the spirit of settle over your life today I encourage you to really step outside of that because there is so much more to you than what you're settling for but you'll never know unless you stop settling I know it's gonna be scary it's gonna be uncomfortable um, and it really is such a frustrating place to be when you're living in this place of uncertainty because you want to trust God for more and you want to stop settling but your flesh is afraid that God won't come through but I want to tell you not only will God come through God will exceed God will overcompensate if you just trust him and so in order to stop settling you have to be able to trust God and when you can trust God and you have that level of intimacy that says okay even if I don't see it right now today or I don't see it next week I trust that you're gonna do it God then you can begin to really step outside of that spirit of settle or that spirit of safe or that spirit of I'm not enough and I'm not strong enough to do this or God nobody's gonna listen to me when I first made my very first ministry video on here I was like nobody's gonna watch this nobody Nobody knows me. I'm this little country 26 year old girl in Texas 
that nobody knows what you know my life is jacked up what I look like trying to tell somebody else about God and God said don't worry about all that just do it and before I knew it um, you know I was getting these beautiful messages of people telling me you know I really needed to hear that today or you encourage me um, and things like that and it really just it warmed my heart because it was like God you told me that I was worth more than what I thought I was and I really was so it's amazing when you trust God um, and he, he he shows you every single time that his word is true and that he's gonna come through for you so um, if you're settling right now and you are afraid to step out the very, very first thing I want to encourage you to do is work on your trust with God um, and trust is something that you develop when you're intimate with someone um, you know how can you trust God when you don't know him right so I, the first thing I encourage you to do is start reading your word regularly consistently I don't care if it's one or two scriptures find you some scriptures about intimacy and trust and love um, I think that intimacy comes from love and comes from you knowing Knowing someone loves you so if you don't know how to be intimate with God find you some scriptures on love find out what God says about you and then you'll kind of understand just how much he loves you which will help you to be intimate and once you develop that intimacy you will learn to trust God and you'll learn to say okay I'm uncomfortable trusting you God but I'm gonna give you the reins to my life because I know you love me so I know that you would never ever ever leave me astray um, and once you get that, you know, once you develop the intimacy and the trust with God, then you'll get to a point to where you're like, you know, God, I think I want to try to step out on faith today. I think I'm tired of settling and I want to try something different, you know. Um, I was settling in the relationship that I was in last year because I really, truth be told, I didn't want to be wrong again. I didn't want to be wrong. I thought after all these horrible relationships, I finally found the right one. And when God said, that's not it, I was like, uh-uh. Mm -mm, uh -uh. I don't know who you're talking to, but it's not me because I refuse to be embarrassed. I refuse to be wrong. I refuse to have put all these pictures on Facebook and told all my friends about this wonderful, wonderful man. And then to find out that I was wrong, I refuse to be wrong. And so I settled with somebody that God said was not right for me because I didn't want to, I didn't want to be embarrassed and I didn't want to be wrong. So I settled. And then God said, why are you doing this? I promise you, I have a husband for you, but you're not going to ever get there unless you stop settling for this. And I said, okay, I'm going to trust you. And I walked away and my life has never been the same. My life skyrocketed the moment that I told God, I trust you enough with my life to stop settling. It's not about trusting yourself. It's not about me trusting me. It's not about Amanda trusting Amanda with her life. It's about me saying, God, I trust you with my life and I'm going to stop settling because I trust you. And that's one of the most beautiful forms of intimacy you could ever have. Trusting God with your life is what gives you the ability to stop settling because when you trust that God is going to do something amazing with your life you can say okay I trust you so I'm gonna stop settling and um, so I'm just encouraging you today to uh, stop living with the spirit of settle on your life there is so much more to your life than what you are currently experiencing um, your life is is so intricate and you're settling for safe right now you're settling for this 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 um you're settling for some oscar meyer when your life is actually supposed to be filet mignon okay don't do it don't settle for um you know this when god says that i want to give you everything i want to give you you know it, for me um I have really low self-esteem so like I said I settled with basketball shorts and and, and t-shirts in high school and now I'm like I don't I'm not settling I'm not settling for being that girl who walks around in baggy clothes because society says because I'm plus size I'm not as beautiful no I'm not settling for that because God told me that I was more than that so I'm going to refuse to settle to conform to what somebody else says about me I'm gonna step out on faith baby and I'm gonna put on my heels today and I'm gonna put on my jeans and I'm gonna put on a sassy shirt and I'm gonna step out 
And I'm going to step out on faith believing that I'm as beautiful as I feel, that I'm as beautiful as my father says that I am. And so that's what you have to do. You have to stop settling because you're missing out on so much. You're missing out on your spouse. You're missing out on your job. There's an opportunity. There's a job opportunity waiting on you right now. But because you're comfortable where you are, you're missing out on this amazing opportunity because maybe you don't want to put the extra hours in every day to look for a new job. Or maybe um, you think that what you're getting paid now is all you're worth and you're afraid to go out and apply for a job that you're not qualified for because you don't believe you'll get it I recently applied for a job that I knew I wasn't qualified for and I got a call back and I got an opportunity to go in and interview for it and so what I'm saying is you know is that I don't qualify for it <laughs> I didn't have the experience, but because I refused to settle and I trusted God when he said, go apply, I applied and I got a call back. And just the fact that I got a call back to come and interview was enough for me because I didn't even qualify for it. So if you will trust God and refuse to settle, he will absolutely blow your mind because he's doing it for me every single day. Um, you guys know that I met Pastor Kim Popnier this past weekend. What's funny is I've been, my mom and I have been watching her for years. And I remember last week I had came home from work. And I was talking to my mom, and I had just watched one of her sermons, and I told my mom, I said, Mom, this sounds insane, but one day, we gonna meet Pastor Kim. And I tell you, a week later, I didn't even know she was coming to the area. I woke up at about 2.30 in the morning on Tuesday morning, and I got on Facebook, and the, there was a flyer that said that she would be in Carrollton on Thursday night. And I'm like, God, I refuse to settle, and I claim that I would get to meet this preacher one day and now all of a sudden she gonna be she's gonna be here in Kelton by my house and I got to meet her and I got to hug on her and love on her and just tell her how much um you know she means to my mom and I but what if I had settled and what if I had said, God, I want to I wanna believe for something crazy like that, but I'm not even going to try it because there is no way I could ever meet her. If I would have settled for that mentality, I never would have got an opportunity to meet one of my mentors and, um, you know, somebody that I absolutely admire so much. But because I didn't settle and I believed for something insane, it happened. So I'm telling you... It, it's, it, uncertainty is very uncomfortable and that's why a lot of times we do settle because we just don't like that uncomfortable place of I don't know what's going to happen I don't know what's going to happen but if you will just trust God and jump out there I promise you it'll be well worth it um, stop living with the with the spirit of settle over your life and start stepping out on faith and believing for crazy things and taking crazy chances because you serve a crazy God who can do you know who can do any and everything if you just trust him to do it and believe he will so um like i said i was in my closet digging around for some stuff which this is a crazy place to make a video but it was really strong on my heart so i was like well while i'm sitting here i might as well talk to them about it so um i love you guys and i hope you have a good remainder of your saturday